I'm Jimmy. I'm, I used to be the host of the show. I'm back. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for, um, for being here. You know, I have to say, when I walk into a room at home, nobody claps. There's no clapping. <laughs> It's good to be back. You know, I've been on vacation since the end of June. And when I left, I assumed things would be back to normal when I got back. I thought we'd have, you know, full audience with no masks. I was ready to get back to French kissing the guests. And, <laughs> and yeah, here we are, masks, half an audience. I leave you people alone for two months. You start taking horseworm medicine? <laughs> what a weird summer. Brittany is free and every woman in the state of Texas isn't. It's, you know... This was the second year I, uh, I took the summer off. It, it wasn't a secret, we announced it. I had guest hosts lined up, and yet people still were confused. These are comments from YouTube, a fraction of the many expressions of concern, uh, starting to get worried, where's Jimmy? Seriously though, where the hell did Jimmy go? Jimmy's still in rehab? Is Jimmy Kimmel on secret suspension? Seems too long for vacation. Does Kimmel have COVID? Is Jimmy alive? I feel like I haven't seen him for a long time. Jimmy's dead, right? Um, no, Jimmy's not dead, unless we're all dead, in which case, maybe we're all in hell, I don't know. Um, all I know is it's very good to be wearing makeup again. And so how, I just, I wanna ask one thing because the hardest part of being at home while the show was still going on was watching Guillermo cheat on me with all the other hosts. Like, oh, great show, great show. You seem to be having a lot of fun. Jimmy, listen, it was, it was weird, it was uh -huh. different, but I miss you, Jimmy. I love you, and everybody uh -huh. here, they miss you. Well, thank you, man. I wish, you know what? I wish I could believe anything you say anymore. <laughs> no, it is true. I think I know what it feels like to be on The Bachelor, watching your fiance in the fantasy suite with all the other... I was starting to wonder if you're here for the right reasons, Guillermo. <laughs> no, I am. Do you like our new set? The guys did some work here over the summer. We have a new, we have a new chandelier. That's the big thing. This way, when the big one hits, Cleto dies instantly. <laughs> Liberace style, you go. That's the only way to go. <laughs> Before I went away for vacation, I said, I am not coming back until I get a chandelier, damn it. <laughs> I hope you had a relaxing Labor Day. It was not a fun Labor Day weekend, COVID-wise. The number of new cases is up more than 300% from a year ago. Dr. Fauci said that if hospitals get any more overcrowded, they're gonna have to make some very tough choices about who gets an ICU bed. I know that choice doesn't seem so tough to me. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in, we'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo? Rest in peace, Wheezy. You're, that's, I mean, we, we still got a lot of pandemics out there. People are still taking this ivermectin this poison, you know, the poison control centers have seen as this spike in calls from people taking this livestock medicine to fight the coronavirus, but they won't take the vaccine, which is crazy. It's like if you're a vegan and you're just like, no, I don't want a hamburger. Give me that can of Alpo instead. <laughs> One of the reasons these sea biscuits are opting for ivermectin is because they don't trust big pharma, which is fine, I guess, except for the fact that ivermectin is made by Merck, which is the fourth largest pharmaceutical company in the world. And even Merck is telling people to cut it out. They released a statement saying, ivermectin has no scientific basis for potential therapeutic effect against COVID. There's no meaningful evidence for clinical activity or clinical efficacy in patients with COVID-19 disease. And there's a concerning lack of safety data in the majority of studies. Listen, if a pharmaceutical company says, please don't take the drug we're selling, you should probably listen to them. Or <laughs> Or you could just go with a TikTok posted by a disgraced veterinarian instead. <laughs> Meanwhile, these poor horses are like, hey, I have worms. I need that stuff. There are worms in my butt. Do you understand? <laughs> Ivermectin did get a big endorsement over the weekend from one of America's top medical minds, none other than Sandy Hook denier slash internet lunatic Alex Jones. You know what this is? This is Ivermectin for humans that won a Nobel Prize as an antiviral. And this is inhalable, or these are the tablet steroids. So let me show you. I was gonna do this anyways earlier. See this? See this, Fauci? You see this, Bill Gates? I'm gonna kill those prions, you bastard murderers. You're gonna hit me with a bioweapon, you monster. You wanna suppress me? You wanna kill me, you son of a bitch? You demon? You think I'm easy to kill? Think I'm gonna roll over to your crap? No.
<laughs> I've never seen someone that mad drink a Topo Chico before. It's, it's like, it kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> Who would have guessed he'd wash it down with that? I would have thought maybe some kind of nacho-flavored Bang Energy drink, but nope, give me a Topo Chico. Mm. I'm not the only one back at work today. Jill Biden returned to the classroom after more than a year of teaching remotely. Dr. Biden is an English professor at Northern Virginia Community College. Believe it or not, she's the first first lady in history to have a full-time job while living in the White House. Meanwhile, former First Lady Melania Trump just went back to her old job as America's number one female Lou Bega impersonator. <laughs> Melania number five. The other four escaped. You think we'll ever see her again? America's wealthiest space cowboy has a new passion project. Jeff Bezos has reportedly invested in a company that intends to reverse the human aging process. Altos Labs has been luring top professors away from major universities and paying them a lot of money to make sure Jeff Bezos stays in his Amazon Prime forever. This is a Lex Luthor move, right? I mean, if Lex Luthor sold toothpaste and Huggies, that would be him. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is 57 years old. Right now, he's at the exact halfway point between Dr. Frankenstein and Mr. Clean. Humanity will burn to the ground while Jeff Bezos zips around in his rocket ship with a full, luscious mop top of hair and a very firm 19-year-old erection. You know, it's... And if the... If the anti-aging project fails, of Jeff Bezos, they say, we'll go back to his fallback plan, which is paying everyone on Earth a million dollars to pretend he's 25. <laughs> and one more thing, I was very fortunate to have many great and talented friends acquaintances, even some strangers, uh, filling in for me while I was gone. And I'm grateful to them for doing my job while I was white-knuckling it behind the wheel of an RV with two kids in the back. I really am. And not only did they fill this spot before they left, each of them was kind enough to share his or her fondest memory of their time here at the show. I've not seen this yet. It'll be a surprise for all of us. But here are our all-star guest hosts with their thoughts on what they will miss most about hosting this show. I'm gonna miss stealing Jimmy's weed gummies, eating a couple, and then realizing later they're actually fiber gummies. I wasn't high, but I was regular as hell while I was here. I'll miss the confused looks on the staff's faces when I introduce myself as Oprah. I'll miss being on a show where I don't have the hardest accent to understand. I agree with Mr. Niall Horns completely. I'm gonna miss accidentally taking a sip out of Guillermo's coffee mug and being drunk for four days. I'll miss craft services. This was my first time back on set since before the pandemic, and I forgot how much I loved just running my hands through a giant communal bowl of goldfish crackers. Oh. 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 I mean, the funny thing is, I don't even like goldfish. I will miss sitting down with some of the sharpest writers in Hollywood and getting to tell them to their face that they're not funny and they'll never work in this town again. You know, I'll miss sleeping in Jimmy's California king-size bed. Listen, I know guest hosts aren't supposed to sleep at Jimmy's house, but child, I don't give a <laughs> Who do I miss? Hmm, I was only here for a day. I didn't really have time to get attached. I mean, I love what we had, but let's not get too clingy about it, all right? I will miss the people working in standards and practices who explained to me so patiently why I couldn't say mother sucking licking liquor animal on the air. Even though I really, really wanted to. Mother I'm gonna miss the guy who puts on my microphone. We had so many great talks. I'll never forget you, Jeff. It's Brian. Whatever. I'm gonna miss this. And this. Crazy, right? Mm. It's like magic here. I won't miss anything, because I know Jimmy's gonna take another hiatus in three weeks and call me to fill in. You lazy son of a bitch. You don't think I got other to do? 
I'll miss whatever this is. Jimmy keeps it under his desk, and the staff says that the, he uses it during commercial breaks. It's like, I don't know, does it take your blood pressure? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, you're a hard, okay? Congratulations on making it to the end of the YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.